Dear ladies and gentlemen, I'm so happy to join you today at the Wother Awards Gala Dinner 2019, even if only by this video message. Your aim to recognize and to celebrate the extraordinary contribution of women lawyers to the profession to exemplify women in law is an initiative very, very dear to my heart. It is, as you say, so very important to empower, mentor and strengthen women lawyers to aspire higher. In May 2018, our international initiative, Opportunities for Women in Law, was started in Vienna. Born in part out of the personal wish to offer my own two daughters better opportunities and more equality in their professional lives. Women play a vital role in all legal professions, might they be lawyers, notaries, tax advisors and consultants, judges or in-house legal counsel, among many others. Our initiative Opportunities for Women in Law brings together all of these female professionals and their male allies from around the globe and offers them an exceptional meeting platform right in the centre of Europe in Vienna, Austria. During our first conference in the spring of 2019, we discussed the special challenges which millennials, the new generation of women in law, face today. We learned from the experiences of women around the globe and listened to very inspiring talks that made us decide to keep going and to hold our next conference in June 2020. There is so much to point out, to highlight and to be aware about in order to affect material change to better the profession lives of women in law. At our next conference in June 2020, we want to go behind the scenes and lift the veil shrouding many of those details which might consciously or unconsciously prevent progress of women striving for more in the legal profession. We have to talk about conscious or unconscious bias to create awareness and to teach both women and men how to deal with it. Our modern working environments may allow a lot of flexibility and agility, but we shouldn't forget about the inherent threats either. The legal profession is increasingly globalized and becoming more diverse in many of our countries. We need to talk about diversity, inclusion and intersectionality to create a prospering and good working space for all of us. How about our health, mentally as well as physically, which is challenged by multiple responsibilities as women? We need to learn more about it to prevent heavy backlashes in our professional lives. Dear winners of the WOSA Award, Today, you are the stellar examples to many women in your region, as well as globally. Let me very warmly congratulate you and please do never forget that as an awarded winner, you should always try to encourage other women in law by taking them with you on your journey to the top to let them have their own success. The more women you may encourage, the more successful both of our initiatives and all of the women in law will be. I wish you a wonderful evening. See you soon, either in Cape Town or in Vienna.